Hey everyone, Humphrey here with Rowdy Guides doing my nightly walk kind of around Lower Sukhumvit. This is uh, the Skywalk above Nana Skytrain Station or just uh, just a little east of the Nana Skytrain Station. One of the larger skywalks in town. So, update on the situation in Thailand and also a little uh, a little change in my opinion about uh, coming to Bangkok right now. So yes, Bangkok is still in lockdown. The malls are pretty much still closed. Just uh, you know, 95% of the restaurants in the malls are closed, and pretty much dine-in and everywhere is closed. Okay. So in a previous video, I said, don't come to Bangkok. Your first time, come to Thailand. Don't come to Bangkok because everything's closed. However, after spending two weeks in Bangkok outside of my quarantine. I can say I'm actually kind of getting used to this. It's kind of interesting. So if you're a type of person that likes finding stuff on your own, you get off the beaten path, you're not the type of guy that looks on wiki travel to find places to go. You're just kind of like walking around and just exploring things, right? You've got no plan. Well, things are open if you're willing to put some effort into finding it. You can get good food. You can get really good food right now if you're willing to just walk around and talk to people and find it. Shops so head off into the streets. And then right here is Indulge. And so during normal times, this would be outdoor seating. Sadi Kap! Yes! Kiumak! Uh, let's see, we're here. Let's go. restaurants are opening back up for takeaway and uh, grab food and the delivery. So it, it still will take some effort, but I have found really awesome food around the condo I've been at. I've gotten really good tips off of Reddit. So if you go on Reddit and you go on the Bangkok forums or Thailand travel, Thailand tourism, I'll put a couple links in there. But Reddit has some really good tips on finding food during lockdown. Hotels. Hotels are, that have been previously closed a couple weeks ago are opening back up. In fact, I talked to a hotel owner or four hotel owners yesterday, last night. One of them's offering rooms for 300 baht a night. That's less than $10 a night, which also includes food at 50 percent off now of course these hotels that are offering the cheap rooms the gym is closed the pool is closed everything you know a lot of what makes a hotel a good hotel those parts are closed but if you only care about a room and good food a clean room and good food and no bugs uh this this may be the time to come to bangkok also the air is cleaner the, the less fewer cars, fewer people walking around on the skywalk like, like what I'm doing now. There are people exercising on this skywalk. Uh, I just passed by a guy who's he's doing laps around this thing. So uh, normally you wouldn't be able to do that. So if you're if you're okay with putting a little more extra effort into finding stuff, if you're okay with most of the shops in the mall being closed down. If you're okay with not getting your Starbucks every day, and actually you can still get your Starbucks if you want. Uh, most of the Starbucks are closed, but I have found a couple that are open. In fact, I'll show you right now. Now I hear what some of you are already thinking is, but Humphrey, I thought you said there's a curfew. Yeah, I can't be outside past 9 p.m. and the curfew lasts all the way up until 4 a.m. That sucks. Yes, it does suck. But after two weeks, here's how I have adjusted. You just wake up earlier. I mean, that's, that's, that's the way you do it, is now you wake up and shockingly, 5 a.m., 4.30 a.m., get, you know, go out and run, get some exercise in, and it's, it's fine, right? Go to bed earlier, because I mean, nothing's open anyways, right? So here we go, this is Starbucks. And it appears to be open, I think. 
I hope. Sorry about that, I guess it's closed, but they were open earlier. All right, so Starbucks was closed, but we'll go next door to this, I think it's a restaurant slash grocery store called Coconut. Oh, look at this. Cannabis herb drink. Oh, hell yeah, good for that. Let's see if this place is open. All right, I really lucked out with this store. I've never been in it before, first time ever. And I just picked up for 300 something baht a honey iced tea lemon tea, honey lemon tea with CBD or cannabis or whatever you want to call it. They call it the happier honey lemon tea. Uh, so I guess this store, I guess this store uh, specializes in uh, CBD. You know, I don't buy this stuff normally, but uh, why not? So uh, got some uh, cookies and brownies and other stuff. I hope it's legal. I mean, it must, right? Because they've got a huge uh, store right here. So that's what I'm talking about. If you're willing to spend the time to look around, you can find stuff that's open. Stuff that you would normally not find. You just have to get take some effort. And if you're the type of person you like to explore anyways, this is, I would say, an okay, a decent time to come to, to, come to Bangkok. And what I really admire about the Thai people, they are tough. They are really tough. I mean, after months of lockdown, you know, curfews, insurrections, riots, protests, airport takeovers, all of that stuff, coups, like every two to three years there's a coup, what the hell? They still are ticking along. So uh, these folks are adapting to the curfew. These folks are adapting to the lockdown. They're opening back up slowly but surely. And you gotta respect that. You gotta respect all of this. And so we're going to pick up some of my food that I ordered before and we'll take a look at the food. Indulge restaurant. Part of Sukhumbit Sweets. They're offering food for 50% off. Sadi cup? Oh. Oh. Let's do this. Hopkin cup. Have a good night. So this bad boy right here, this is what uh, the coconut place called the happier honey lemon tea. It's got honey, lemon, tea, and cannabis or CBD oil. Uh, funny thing about this is I, I, told the, I told the lady I wanted that drink and she, three times she asked, are you sure? And she said, something, 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 CBD, are you sure? I said, yes. It's like, you want that one? Yes. So. I don't know if she was trying to warn me or what, or or whatever is in this drink. Well, I'm guessing it's CBD or cannabis or whatever. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be fun. Okay, coming out of the same store, what do we got, what do we got? Bottles of orange juice. These were 50 baht each. Decently sized. She also, <laughs> Uh, she should work for sales at uh, at Cisco. Uh, so she also sold me this, which appears to be a chocolate cake or cupcake with cannabis. So I, you know, when she was talking to me about this, she said chocolate, cannabis, aroi mak, and uh, that sold me. And then I bought a cake. I think this is just normal chocolate cake which I will try in the morning. Right, let's see what we got from Indulge. So I ordered fried rice with chicken and also a crap bao kai, which is kind of like minced chicken with rice. And pretty cool, it came wrapped in this 
leaf. So let's unwrap it and see how it looks. Look at that. Smells amazing. It looks amazing. I'm sure it will taste delicious. And how much was this? 60 baht each. 60 baht each. Once again, indulge, they're doing 50% off food. This was a steal, 120 baht for both of these. I'm definitely gonna be full after this along with my, my uh, mysterious drink here. All right, Humphrey with Router Gods. I'll talk to you later, stay safe.